Oh, yes! Look at this, baby! We got power! Yes! Our generator has connected through the floor into the relay. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers! My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16! Oh, so I'm confused. I was just about to say in the last episode we showed you how to install in SMX. It wasn't really part of the series, but that was the last thing I posted. I hope you guys found it useful and you got some uh, help from it because I know some of you had problems installing the mods. But anyway, everything is hunky-dory. Sway Sway is in full force. No more weapon bob. Well, it's the same weapon bob we had in 16.2, so that's gone, which is great. So again, if you have missed it, the video I posted yesterday after uh, Alan Wake has the information how to install the mods and where to get them from you get them all from uh, in the description below in nexus and i show you how to how i install them all in that episode anyway enough waffle enough waffle what are we going to do today what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a couple of things we're going to have to fine tune for the next horde night for example uh, this is all very high over there so zombies can actually like get to here which is not nice we also want to look at some electrical stuff i want to see if i can do something with electricity for the horde night which would be absolutely amazing because you guys had some good idea in the description and i need air <gasps> And I really like them, so we're trying to do them. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. One of the problems is this area here, because you can see zombies can actually start here and go ra ra, and they can actually like destroy that. Okay, that's what they sound like ra ra. They're like the eight-bit zombies that are gonna be introduced in 16.4 and a half, and that's the noise they're gonna be making. Like they're gonna be going ra ra. <laughs> Anyway, I was thinking the other day, yeah? And uh, not the other day, actually today. So, which is by the time you see this yesterday, and oh my god, mind blown. Like, so, okay. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. And um, I was thinking, vultures are now in the game, yeah? Which means we do have the basic um, abilities to make flying things. And I was saying uh, in, a, in a comment on Twitter, oh yeah, let's make a dragon or something. And then I was wondering, hang on, would that be possible to make a zombie dragon? I mean, sure, it would be bigger than the vulture, but isn't the vulture just a model that has certain aspects and behavior to make it fly? So does that not mean we could make our own custom vulture, make it a big-ass zombie dragon, and um, in include it in the game? That would be so cool. I think that would be really sweet. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just waffling. I'm just uh, brainstorming. I was thinking, what is possible? I, I don't, I don't, I never modded, so I don't really know more than XML file changes. You know, I never looked at the C sharp files that people are changing. I, I program in C sharp, so I understand what's going on. I just have never bothered to look. But so I don't know really what's the limit and what's possible. But anyway, so we're digging up a little area here to make this less accessible. I'm digging really ass ways, but hey ho, so be it. It will look beautiful when we're done. And um, then I will look at electricity because I know we can already make the electric basics. No, that wasn't it. El el what was it? Not electricity. It was energy. That's what it was. The generator bank. We learned. So we can actually craft that. And I want to craft one of those. And then I think we can also make already the fences. Or if I could spell it, the electric fence. Electric fence post absolutely amazing so we can do that as well so all we need is a lot of uh, forged iron which balls we're gonna have to actually make because i wasted all my forged iron so far on upgrading this <laughs> and it's still not done we need like a thousand forged iron for that alone i think anyway oh a lot of work to do and so little time to do it in and this has to be further out as well there has to be at least five spaces away from this to make this really really work and that's why i removed the trees as well but an auger would be nice It'd probably help but we'll see no, oh, well, well, getting stuck on things is not good. And it's nighttime soon, so we want to get the outside work done probably as quickly as possible. So here we go. Last bit here. Nice. And done. So we have a very good area uh, dug out. Nah. We'll leave it there. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. I like it. And then we have more dug out here, so we have a little bit of room. So the zombies are not going to literally come for... Um, this area here and attacking everything on the top like this obviously I have to remove it at Horde Night or at least make it tight enough that they can't get over it but I can but uh, that's a minor thing to fix so I'm not really too worried about that it's very addictive especially if you one hit things it's just you want to continue over and over and just keep going and just keep going but anyway we're gonna have to stop <laughs> otherwise I will keep going this is just so addictive it's like oh my god it's like hypnotic hypnotish anyway <laughs> 
Just this one extra thing. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. Now I have a little bit of grass thing here. There we go. Where is it? There we go. Oh, that's snow. No, 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 no. Oh, that's grassy ground. It is. Yes. There you go. Nice. All right. Over here we have a lot of room as well. Now I still have to move out a couple of blocks here. So about, I would say, one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we're not going one more. And then we're just going to come across here. And that should be enough room for the other side. And then we're finished, basically. Because the other side is further down as the walls. And, yeah, we're just going to make this collapse here. Like, you know, end of story. It doesn't really serve any other purpose like this uh, ground above us. So we're just going to get rid of this. And then we're going to have a look at fences and electricity. Because you guys had a great idea that I want to try out. Oh, all right. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, hey, hey. What the balls? Why are you sticking out like that? Seriously? That's a thing? There we go. Now you're not sticking out. Very good. Alright, look at that. Nice. I'm loving this. So we have a really nice wide area around us. So they can't get up. They can't get in. Well, we should be getting it up and we should be getting in. So definitely. What are we talking about? Yes. Alright. <laughs> this is not PG, but it's that friendly. It is. It certainly is. Well, it only works one way anyway. Like, you know, I was watching a kids program the other day on YouTube. Well, Mario something. Mario and Rabbits. And um, I was offered a, a discounted a membership with a William Poker or Will Hill Poker. So I suppose the kids that are watching the channels, like, usually would be very pleased, like, to get the 10% discounts on dad, uh, daddy's credit card. <laughs> so it's funny how it works one way. You know, it's like they don't have to care about the ads that are running on the content, but they have to care about the content that the ads run on. So maybe we should come. Maybe we should do a content topolips. No, content opolips. Yeah. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I'm also covering up that uh, area here because you guys were saying, hey, 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 you know, the zombies can't get up there. So we're also going to put this around there, which means we could theoretically put this fence one over, which would actually be really, really good. So if we use this guy here, ah, yeah, the problem is we need forged iron because the problem is that up wood and metal doesn't mix, which I think is a pity. I think if you would have, if I put wood here now, yeah, here. It doesn't expand and that's really annoying because you kind of think it should actually be dynamic as well to the non-upgraded version because you might not have enough resources to upgrade all three of them but if you do only two of them it looks like that which is really mm, it's kind of weird but um anyway oh yeah we have a sh screamer shouter coming in we're just gonna hide anyway i'm gonna have a look at the electricity now and then we're gonna have to go for more resources we're gonna have to go out anyway because we need a lot more metal i think I'm making my first blueberry pies. This is the first blueberry pies ever made in history of kicks. Well, other people did them, but I didn't. Hey, oh, look at that. Nice. That is pretty neat. And we have some meat stew here that we can eat in the meantime, which is good. It's going to get our hunger up all the way. And it should give us um, a lot of well-being. Oh, that's it. Okay, look at that. That was at 56 or something or even lower. Wow, that gave us a lot of well, a lot of oh, 60 fullness. Wow. Now this is only 10 fullness, but it gives us actually 0.8 so at 100 that's 8. So that's about the same I would say. But it has a hot effect, which is probably bad because we're already roasting. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know because you were saying, "Oh, make blueberry pie and all that," you know. Now I'm finally making it. Yay! It's all very exciting. Now, let's have a look at the electricity. If we go over here, in here we're going to have to make the bank, the generator bank. Okay, so let's uh, favorite that. We need forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. We actually can... Did we not already make the mechanical... Did we not already make that? I thought we did. I thought we did at some point. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I mustn't have. Where is... Oh, oh, yeah, there it is, the generator bunk. I knew I made it at the end of the last episode or the one before or something like, yeah. Oh, Genie Mac. Okay, we're going to take that with us and we need wires and a wire cutter or something. Do I have? No. Okay, let's see what we need for wire. 
a wire tool, which is just nine steel and mechanical. There we go. Look at that. And some mechanical parts, which is nice. So we can make that at the workbench. Nice. Wire tool. Beautiful. And we need an electric wire relay so we can share out the load between the cables in case it gets a bit much. So let's see if we have any more forged iron queued up here. Yes, we do. Very good. And all our steel. And we can turn that off now. There you go. Excellent. Look at the amount of steel. Now the steel I'm collecting, that's going to be before the Horde Knight to upgrade the inside of our centerpiece so that, you know, we're pretty safe there. Like I said, we want to build for looks now. So we need a part of the base or a different base in this case it's all in one and um, that is really secure that we know we're gonna survive the horde knights or at least we believe we survive the horde knights okay so let's see what do we need relays the wiring relay relay so that's two forged iron and electrical parts there we go nice i don't even think we need a lot i think we literally only need let's make five Okay, but I think that's even it. Like, that's all that's needed. Okay, once we have done these, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna try a few things out. We might get an over 300 uh, shovel. There we go, 304. Very nice, I like it. It's just all the shovels we found on the dead guys. Uh, usually I found that the big lady, you know the big uh, lady in the white dress that looks like a screamer, only big? She, um, she drops a lot of shovels and stuff like that. Like, she's very happy about that. She's very shovel happy. Okay, we're not doing anything special here. Okay, this is where the meds go. I put the meds in the in the wrong chest there. <laughs> okay, let's take some dirt with us for upstairs. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's put this away. There we go. And let's pick up anything else we need. There we go. There's the relay and the wire cutting tool. What else did I make in there? I made something else in there. I can't see it right now. I don't know what it was. I don't remember. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, we have to go here. <laughs> We have to go on the ground. I have to remove that box at some point and put it somewhere safer. Maybe we put it somewhere on the ground. I don't know. It would be good. Okay, let's go here. Now. Right here, I would say, which, which side am I facing? Okay, so this is one of the sides. Yes, okay. So what I would like to do... Let's see if that works. Let's put this guy here i hope that will work okay let's put this guy here okay we can't pick it up we can open it ah engines okay i wasn't sure if it's engines or batteries and oh fuel oh i don't think we have any fuel i'm gonna have to nick some fuel from the uh, motorbike then Ooh. I wasn't prepared for that now. I completely forgot about the fuel. Genie maca balls. Okay, so what do we do about fuel? We have fuel here. Okay, we have a little bit of fuel here. Do we not have fuel cans or something somewhere? Oh man, I can't believe we don't. Okay. It's kind of a pickle and a balls and a half. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So let's go. That's better than nothing. Okay, it's better than nothing. I think 717 is actually enough for Horde Knight, definitely, for sure. And as far as I know, it only spends energy when things are used. Like, so if traps are... Well, we're gonna have a relay switch or something. Oh, a switch! That's what I needed to make as well. I want to make a switch. We can't do the switch yet, but I think we can learn it. Let me see. Electric basics. Now, where's that switch coming in? Mailer traps. Is that... No, 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 no. Where is that switch coming in? Electrical devices, blade trap, and the... Ah, there we go. Switches and triggers. So let's learn the switch. We have 62 points, like, yeah. Trigger plates. Oh, I love it. <gasps> and motion sensors. Oh, I love it. So totally love it. And now we can get metal traps here as well. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Excellent. And science getting higher and science doesn't really make any difference right now. So we have that. While we're here, bad mechanics, somebody was asking me how high it is. And it is now level four and we have no points left. So, which means we can now use uh, this and stuff like that uh, to a higher effect. Because the hammer levels up construction. 
Meanwhile, this is mechanical and we're obviously gonna have to go out and get more engines. So to have bad mechanic up, as far as I understand it, it has harvest count plus 100%. We could theoretically end up with two engines in a car. We're so gonna have to test that. That is gonna be balls. That That is gonna be amazing. Okay, so the wiring tool, we have that. So now let's see if I actually can do this. We need a fencing pole. Okay, I didn't make any fence poles. Let me make some fence poles and I'm back in a second. Now that we all have that done. Um, actually, while we're gonna try this out, let's let's see if we can do a relay. That's, let me place a relay. Anyway, I was watching Generic B. And he was playing a game called Deadlock. Usually he plays VR games, so I can't really play the games he plays. That's why I watch him. And it's like, oh yeah, this is really good. This is a funny game. But I, I don't I can't do VR. My room is way too small. And um I was watching him play Deadlock, and I was like, that that game looks awesome. It's like a kind of like Fortnite, but with zombies, and you have to go through levels rather than open world. And each level is like you have to barricade, you have to find some pieces or something to uh, make something, you know, to get rid of the zombies for that level. And it looks really a lot of fun. And it literally looks like the predecessor to Fortnite. Uh, the graphics, the game, it looks really awesome. And it, it, it does look like it plays really nicely. Now, it used to be an Xbox-only title, I think. But it's now also on PS3, Xbox 360. I don't think it's backwards compatible, but you can also buy it on PC. And I don't know if that's only recently or not, but I found it eventually on Gamersgate, uh, which was the only place I could actually find to sell it and uh, digitally. And I bought it and installed it. So hopefully I get time tonight to play it. And then Osiris will be tomorrow. Um... Uh, because it looks really fun. I was going to share it with you guys because we, we do zombie movies and stuff like that, you know, z zombie games. So I thought you guys would be interested in that. And it looks like a lot of fun. If I can't make it tonight and I do Osiris instead because I wasn't able to play it, then um, just go over to Generic Beast channel and watch it there. <laughs> because uh, he, he does amazing gameplays like that. So let's put this one here. Or should we put it on the side to hide it away? No, I think it should be here. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and see if we can steal the power from this. Okay. That's good. That's good. And put it onto... I hope the cable is long enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes! Look at this, baby! We got power! Yes! Our generator has connected through the floor into the relay which is awesome so now we can go from the relay into the fence from the relay into this fence and from the relay into this fence now of course nothing will happen come on there we go nothing will happen until we actually connect the fences which means from here we can now connect to this fence they all oh it loses the connection interesting and from this fence we can go over here and then it will lose the connection as well that is interesting this looks awesome hey you L let me oh you, you know what you already have no legs so let's just deal with you there we go nice oh i love it sweet thank you very much oh that's really lovely i will enjoy this very much thank you Okay, and we're gonna have more potatoes. We can make meat stew. All we need is more meat, of course, you know, but now we have good ingredients for stew. And once the mushrooms are finished, we have like very good vegetable stew. So how much do we actually have going on here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is 35 minus one is 34. So here we go. Recipe 34. Excellent. So this is a thing now. That is awesome. I'm crafting already more fence poles underground and that means we can let me just go here bloop 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 there we go nice look at that that is pretty awesome now the problem obviously comes what if they destroy this fence pole well then we kind of screwed i suppose because we can only connect to this one and if we connect to another one um, so each each pole can only receive a single connection, but it can send out multiple connections. That is interesting. So what we might do then is we might put a, a pole, a fence pole up here, literally up here, only so we can spread out more um, connections, possibly. If that, if that is a word, if that makes sense, I don't know. 
I don't know. Let me know what your fence designs are, actually, because to me, this seems weak that if this fence pole is destroyed, that's it. The whole fence collapses. And that would be pretty bad. That would suck donkey balls. Because then we would have to put two poles right beside each other so that you know, I don't know. It just seems weird. I think they should let us just connect all these energy poles to, to these, which means if one uh, if one pole gets destroyed, at least the other ones still get energy from the relay. So I, I really think they should let fence poles uh, be able to get receive more than one connection. It, it just would make sense, you know, because you don't want the one weak link. I mean, what's the point having like a humongous electric fence system when the one pole gets destroyed and the whole thing just collapses? That That, that would be weird, I think. Anyway, all right, I have more fence poles. And like I said, I really hope that um, you guys leave some comments how you do that because it's weird, okay? To me, it's weird that the one fence pole, once it's destroyed, everything goes offline. It, that just doesn't make sense because then we would have to install two rows of fence poles where interconnections happen or something or where we leave one gap so we can connect to two poles and then the other row has the gap filled and has a gap somewhere else it just it just gets messy so i really hope they're going to change that that you can put multiple connections going into a pole as well as out because you should be able to do that it just doesn't make sense not to anyway so i'm gonna leave this episode here guys Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Okay, here we go. And here. And one, two. There we go. Nice. And just one more side. Oh, balls. How are we going to reach that? Genie Mac. It's like... Eye of the tiger here. If I fall down to these in, into the middle of that sea of spikes, I'm screwed. By the time I'm out, like I, I have no more groin left. Okay, so let's do this there, and there, and there. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, sweet. Probably should do the corners here as well. Yeah, let's do the corners as well. There we go. Nice. And. Nice, because maybe we can use the corners to kind of do a double-sided relay connection. I don't know. I have no idea.